Well, there's no doubt in my mind that this migration from internal combustion engines to electric transportation is, one, is inexorable. This is happening. Um, how quickly it's happening is a matter of debate, but um, I can't see any factors that could possibly uh, militate towards something else. Let me ask you this, if I may. Sure. I wanted to get into battery chemistry. I want to get into the fundamentals. I don't want to talk to, at too technical a level, principally because I can't. Uh, but I do want um, the folks at home to get an understanding for why, why don't we have this now? Why, don't, why can't we snap our fingers? In the book I'm publishing on renewable energy, I talk about this is a world of tough realities. We all want very clean transportation, mm -hmm. and we all want um, clean air and, and safe deployable, scalable energy solutions. But we can't. We can't snap our fingers and have exactly what we want. Let's talk a little bit about how that applies to electric transportation. The last time, I think the last time you and I saw one another was at the Long Beach, the Advanced Automotive Battery Conference in Long Beach. Mm -hmm. um, and I was a little bit lost listening to the PhD dissertations on these unbelievably complicated battery chemistries. I think you followed it much better than I did. Tell us a little bit about where this world is going with respect to that, please. Well, if you think of, of electric vehicles and the importance of the battery, the battery is actually your gas tank and your fuel. I mean, it's all concentrated in the batteries. And uh, the rest of the vehicles, relatively simple. We've got mm, uh, very good breakthroughs in, in efficiency as in motors and everything else, and we're down to the last element. If we could solve the battery problem, then uh, electrics are going to be much, much more popular than internal combustion engines for a number of reasons. So you've got to look at where are we in that chemistry. And here's the right. fundamental challenge with batteries. Uh, battery chemistry is very, very unique. Uh, I liken it more to alchemy in the Middle Ages. When I was working with a company called Electrosource in Texas, we were doing an advanced lead acid battery, and we had our lab where the guys were working on changes to the chemistry and everything. And when we'd have tours, I'd get my lab worker in there, at least one of them, to put on a wizard suit. And okay. when I'd open the door and I'd say, here are our, our uh, scientists working on new developments, he, you know, he'd be you know, eye of newt, toad, no, frog good. type okay. thing. Somewhat facetiously, but it's true. Take just lead acid batteries. If you make a change in the chemistry in a lead acid battery, and you want to say, will that now do better in electric vehicles, you have to get a thousand deep discharge cycles to validate it. Mm -hmm. Any change in the chemistry, you add two milliliters more of, of this chemical. Wait a minute, a thousand cycles, I can get two cycles a day. Right. So it takes 500 days, it takes nearly two years to validate that that additive helped. Now, let's say you get to 700 cycles and the battery fails. It takes you about six months to do an analysis and of the, why did it fail Holy and make the change. Okay. Then you start the clock all over again. Mm -hmm. So as fast as we see electronic uh, technology go, battery chemistry moves at a glacial pace. Oh, I'm, I can see that. So we've moved away from lead acid, we went through nic nickel metal hydride, and there are a lot of vehicles out there now with nickel metal hydride sure. in it, and the most promising chemistry today is lithium ion chemistry. And people say, well that's great, lithium, I like lithium. Uh, at the conference that we were at, they, they identified 237 viable different combinations of lithium to put into a lithium battery. Mm -hmm. It seemed that way to me. Just compa lithium carbonate lith compounds. Compound, phosphate, right. you know, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, different configurations of how you put it together. So which one's the best? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to test it. Well, if you test it, it takes two years. So we're in the process of winnowing our way through that. What is apparent now in the battery business is we're getting down to a figure that is acceptable to the vehicle manufacturers in terms of the cost of the battery pack. Mm -hmm. Now, which is what about? So you want 30 kilowatt hours on board. Right. So what's that translate into in today's? In today's uh, chemistry, a lithium ion battery chemistry is $1,000 a kilowatt hour. OK. So that's 30,000 clams. Bingo. That'll set you back. Well, you're talking about trying to put a vehicle on the road that's competitive 
and you're starting out with a battery pack costs 30 grand. Mm -hmm. Now, even if you got the rest of the vehicle for 10, that's 40, you have to have dealer markup, distribution support, mm -hmm. you're not competitive. Well, what's up with the, uh, so the Nissan LEAF has what, 16 kilowatt hours on board? The Nissan LEAF is striving for 30. Is it really? Okay, yeah. so they must have done something. They yeah. must have some work around this, or they're selling them at a loss, which they could be. I mean, they're, they're big well, enough it's, to be it's able it's to Well, it's like anything that. else. Uh, if you look at the actual economics of getting a new internal combustion car on the road, and uh, General Motors, when they put out their, their uh, last new car, if you will, uh, they spent $7.5 billion before the first one came off the line. They say. So there is a lot of sunk cost that you have to amortize over uh, a size run. But the good news is the cost curve for lithium ion is headed downward. In the conference you were at, the prediction was three, five years from now, we'll be down to $200 a kilowatt hour. Right. One fifth of the cost. So now we're talking about a $6,000 yes. battery pack. Right, and then you have a much different calculus in terms so of So I think issue. what's happening today is a lot of the car companies are making the decision, I'm willing to eat the higher cost, right. and I've got a continuous cost reduction program going. I'm going to borrow from all those other 263 chemistries to get it down to I can make an affordable battery pack. That's very, very interesting.